to get this down. Held in place here. Everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are back on the bed build again. Uh, this is the footboard part of the bed, and what I've done is the same thing, basically the same principle I did on the first one. I got my distance of 62 inches is what I'm after, center to center, and I went ahead and screwed in two before across the bottom, and then I just stuck this one on top to keep the poles from wanting to move in and out or just rick around on me while I'm working on it. So I have two marks on the side of the poles here at 16 inches high because that's the height that we want our mattress off the floor. We're not putting a box spring on it. We're going to do a different system. So I'll be installing the first pole at 16 inches off the floor to match the headboard. And then the next one, once I get that one installed, I'll probably take this off. And we'll install the top one up here and get it ready. We have a little bit of a surprise coming on the footboard like we mentioned on the headboard. So we will only show a portion of this, we will not show the complete build until we're ready to do the finished product. And I think that you'll really enjoy what we're going to do. This where perfect center. Like that. <clears throat> the thing will come from here to here. I think that'll work. Okay, we got a lot of different types of lumber here. We got some holly here. Oh, I love that. This is holly. I mean, we oh, cut. I've got a different way. Wait, I already see it. Let's take that board. Well, I got a. I need to know if I need to bring a skill saw and straighten it up. No, 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 no. Let's I take can't. that one. But let we may, let's look at some more. I, I've got a different idea than what you were thinking. I think unless there's something else like that one. Another Ooh. Piece of holly. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Well, I've got these pieces. There's a couple of ways to go with that. That's. I have an idea. Yeah, but it's got to have a log on top of it still. Mm -hmm. But it's okay um, to hold it. it. 
Are you looking at the bark below the log? Or? I don't know. We'll have to go look. Um, I just think that's awesome. This stuff will break at nothing. Um, yeah. And you want to explain where this wood came from. Yeah, like oh, man, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So, I, this one. I think that board. I think we're going to take this one. Explain where that one came from. This came off of my property after Hurricane Katrina. This was a holly tree, uh, an American holly, which don't get this big hardly ever. And I had some rare ones on my property, but Hurricane Katrina blew them down. And I had them, rather than just push them up and lose them, I had them sawed up into lumber back in 2005. And they've been in the barn ever since. I, was, I thought someday I would use them for something, and I think that day may have arrived. So we're going to take this up there and see if we can't figure out something about the bed with it. This is the one that's thicker, too. This one's real thick. Could cherry stain it mm -hmm. and lock those colors in. I don't know. It wouldn't need a a thing at the top. It's gonna have to go lower because if it goes to it's gonna almost have to touch that rail at the bottom. Well the mattress will be twelve inches above this right here, so I mean it'll be it almost has to sit on it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What what are the odds of making it? What are the odds of putting this in here? And, uh, in between. In between the two logs. Yes. You wouldn't have to cut out much, no. just where it touches. Okay, that's one possibility. And I don't. And we can't even use the round part. Probably that's that was the part I was wanting. This is not centered. Oh, I think that's just going to be it. You like this one better? Can, it's going to sit on it pretty much. Or I could flip it. Flip it around end to end and over. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. You have to figure out where. Well, that's got a break in it right there. I can't use that. That looks... Looks more like the logs. That's on. more the appearance right there. Okay. I'm thinking that you want me to mark it some sort and you cut well, it. Well I would I would need to just go ahead and saw me a groove in here. I want the last part out of this used. So we're thinking the holly. Yeah, we're gonna use the holly. I think we'll go with the holly. And I'll just try to uh, keep the characteristics of it. It's yeah. going to be awesome. I go all the way to that. Yeah, because you, me, uh, if you use this as the top, you've got all this. Yeah. And then the bottom is a little rounded and pointed. If you have to, I, just I would say smooth this off enough to sit it down the groove and leave this. What uh, do you think? I'm going to cut a groove in the bottom. I know. Just going just let it sit all in. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, this is one of them things you get one shot at. If you screw it up, you lose it all. So I've got to be very particular. I've got to be very slow and take my time. There's going to be some chiseling involved, but I just got to get this done. This is, this is going to be rather difficult and not let it kick back on me.
It's a good start. I don't want to cut it too wide to start with. Trim a little bit if I have to. That'll, I can trim that off just a little bit and let that go in there. Ooh, that's some hard wood. That is going to be it right there. I'm not actually going to have to cut anything. This is going to sit almost perfect right on top of that. So what I may do is just take the saw and just barely nick it a little bit so that it just rests right on it. But it shows this has got to go down. I think that's going to work. This is the side that's going to be the challenge. This pole's turned in at the top, so I gotta do a lot more cutting on this one at the high. This end is going to be regardless. I'm going to go ahead and glue it and just put it in there. And then this end, I'll saw it off. I'll do whatever I got to do to make it work. How about that? Sounds good to me. I can stay out here all day doing that. I'm thinking that's a lot of glue.
guys we're almost finished with the footboard we've got a little bit more to do uh, and the, we're gonna make some surprises in here we're not gonna tell you what they are once we get them done uh, we'll reveal it at the point that we're completely finished with the bed we're fixing to load this baby up and take it to the cabin and get ready to start grinding and sanding and getting it ready to finish so thank you guys from Deep South Homestead